The name of George Washington claims a place in our American Masonic history. As the father of our country, he is a source of pride to every American Freemason, and we are proud to call him a brother in our time-honored fraternity. He was raised to the sublime degree of a Master Mason in Lodge No. 4 of Fredericksburg, Virginia, on August 4, 1753. On December 20, 1788, Brother Washington was elected the first worshipful master of Alexandria Lodge No. 22. It was during the Revolutionary War that the young Marquis de Lafayette came to America from France and joined General George Washington's army for the Battle of Brandywine in 1777. The affection each man held for each other as friends and brothers was legend. The American cause had become Lafayette's cause. The legacy that developed through this affection led to the presentation of a special Masonic apron at Mount Vernon in August of 1784. It was made of white satin and hand embroidered by Madame Lafayette. This apron has become a study in symbolism. Symbols are silent emblems having meaning only when interpreted. And based on the unique character of the interpretation process, it is also understood that no symbol has an absolute meaning. For example, the apron border colors of red, white, and blue are the national colors of both the United States and France and the colors of our national flag. In masonry, the color red is a symbol of courage, white for innocence, and blue for fidelity. The lambskin, or white leather apron, is an emblem of innocence and the badge of a mason more ancient than the Golden Fleece or Roman Eagle, more honorable than the Star and Garter, or any other order that could be conferred upon me at this or any future period by king, prince, potentate, or any other person except he be a mason. It was hoped that I would wear it with pleasure to myself and honor to the fraternity. The all-seeing eye is a symbol of watchfulness and is the eye of the Grand Architect. It is a symbol of his divine watchfulness and care of the universe. The all-seeing eye, whom the sun, moon, and stars obey, and under whose watchful care even comets perform their stupendous revolutions, pervades the inmost recesses of the human heart <clears throat> and rewards us according to our merits. The rays represent light. Freemasons are emphatically called the sons of light because they are entitled to be in possession of the true meaning and knowledge of this symbol. It is, in fact, the first of all symbols presented to the initiate and continues to be presented to him in various forms throughout his Masonic career. But his light not only came from God, it also makes man's way clear before him, so it is employed to signify moral truth. The dove, in early masonry, was a symbol of Noah's messenger. In ancient symbolism, the dove represented purity and innocence, and was often seen bearing the olive branch. The constellation of seven six-pointed stars in masonry represents the seven liberal arts and sciences. They are grammar, rhetoric, logic, arithmetic, geometry, music, and astronomy. <coughs> The six-pointed star is a symbol of divine providence and is the star of David, or shield of David. This starry-decked heaven is where all good masons hope at last to arrive, by aid of that theological ladder, which Jacob in his vision saw extending from earth to heaven, the three principal rounds of which are denominated faith, hope, and charity, which admonishes us to have faith in God, hope in immortality, and charity towards all mankind. The greatest of these is charity, for our faith may be lost in sight. Hope ends in fruition, but charity extends beyond the grave through the boundless realm of eternity. The sun, as a source of material light, reminds the mason of that intellectual light of which he is in constant search. The worshipful master, who rules and governs his lodge, is said to be the symbol of the rising sun in the east. The sun, therefore, is a symbol of sovereignty, the hieroglyphic of royalty, and signifies absolute authority. 
As the sun rules the day and the moon governs the night, so does the worshipful master rule and govern the lodge. These symbols in masonry are known as the lesser lights. The three great lights in masonry are the Holy Bible square and compasses. The Holy Bible is dedicated to the service of God because it is the inestimable gift of God to man, and on it we obligate our brethren. The square to the worshipful master because it is the proper Masonic emblem of his office, and the compasses to the craft because, by a due attention to their use, we are taught to circumscribe our desires and keep our passions within due bounds towards all mankind, especially a brother Mason. 